Hi, I'm Nancy Jay with the Celebrity Spotlight on a movie that is sure to have you glued to the screen. The Debt stars Oscar winner Helen Mirren as a former Mossad secret agent whose past is now coming back to haunt her. The Helps, Jessica Chastain, plays the young Mirren in flashbacks. And the man that torments her memories? Avatar's Sam Worthington. Well, this is, it's like a movie that I would, you know, I used to do in Australia. It's not, you know, we don't have the budgets like for an avatar down there. So you kind of, you rely on a good story. And this was a, you know, a great thriller, like in the vein of a, like a 1970s thriller, like, you know, Three Days of the Condor or something like that. So and that was the appeal to do it. No 3D, no CG, no special effects. Mm -hmm. This is pure muscle and mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, you know, this is, my part of the story is three people locked in a house with the idealistic attitude that they can take down a Nazi war criminal and it doesn't affect their lives. And then we see what happens with the decisions they make 30 years down the track with Helen Mirren and Tom Wilkinson playing a, older versions of us. We should never forget how young they were. 30 years ago, these three dared to confront an unimaginable evil. Stefan Gold was the youngest unit commander in Mossad. David Peretz had his 29th birthday while on the mission. Rachel Singer was only 25 when she crossed through the checkpoint into Soviet-controlled East Berlin. So first time in the field. Good, that's good. Welcome to the mission. Their assignment had been to capture the surgeon of Birkenau, a man whose sadistic experiments left thousands disfigured or dead. It's a brave thing you're doing. I'm not brave. I'm terrified. You're the one that is afraid, David. Afraid of the monster. Boom. We followed. Oh, God. Only four people know what happened here. No matter what, the truth stays in this room between us. What if we could go back? Would it be different? We can't go back. We have to deal with it. Well, what does that mean? Deal with it. this film is I didn't know it was a thriller until I saw it. I thought it was making a drama and then when I saw it I was like oh my gosh it's so intense. All the twists and turns, it's action-packed and it's wonderful that it, a film can be like that but then also the characters are really interesting and the performance I think the performances I think are great with Helen and Sam. There are so many layers to the debt. On the one hand it's a thriller on another hand, it is a love story. It, it's about, it, it's also about, I think, family and feelings. And I mean, there, how do you describe it without giving the best parts away? Well, I think you've, you've done a pretty good job there describing it, actually. Um, I would just say it's a really good old fashioned story. You know, of course, it has all of those elements that you just described. Um, but it's it's a it's just is a fascinating, really um, nail biting mm -hmm. kind of story, and it grabs you right from the beginning of the of the movie and doesn't sort of really let you go till the end. The movie is very full of uh, swerves and surprises that you're not expecting, um, and uh, that is usually a very pleasurable experience for the audience when they're surprised that they don't see something coming and if that were just a cheap effect that would be one thing but it's something that revises the whole moral landscape of the film uh, when it happens so 
I think yeah, all I can do is whet the audience's appetite, but tell them that it's a, a movie that benefits from not knowing too much about what's going on before they go in. They just don't make them like this anymore, but they should. Look for the debt in your real-time theater.